All right. Um, so there we go. Sorry about that. Breathe. It's very simple instruction. <laughs> and also a really, really awesome song from Kylie um, from uh, the album Impossible Princess, which came out in 1997. Or as I heard it referred to the other day, the late 1900s. Yes, I, that actually happened. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to have a read of the, the, the first line on the wiki page. You guys seem to be responding to that, so let's do it. Breathe is a song by Australian singer Kylie Minogue from a sixth studio album, Impossible Princess in 1997. It was released on the 16th of March, 1998, as the third single from the album and her final one for the Deconstructed Records label. Breathe was co-written by Minogue with Ball and Vork. Did I say that? I don't know. And pronounced and produced by Dave Ball and Ingo Vork. So... Okay, someone needs to edit this. Backed by synthesizers and keyboards, it is an electronica track. The lyrics revolve around contemplation and calmness. Breathe received mostly positive reviews from music critics, most of whom, some of whom highlighted the track as an album standout and commended the lyrical and vocal delivery. Um, yeah, I love it. I think it's great. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, I was very young when it came out, but I do recall it um, arriving on the scene. I thought it was pretty sick. Um, and I still enjoy it to this day. I actually spent way too much on a copy of Impossible Princess because it was not available at all. Um, I found it online, and I think I paid like 50 or $60 for it. But I had to have it, and it had the um, hologram on the front. I'm still I'm going to chase down the vinyl at some stage as well. Um, so this is a remix stem. This one is just a really... You know, uh, what is it, a seven-tracker? I normally don't do anything that's that short, but I felt like it's Kylie. I've, I'm going to do these ones. These are, these are really cool. It's personal, you know, stuff that I enjoy and um, worth having a look at. It's Breathe by Kylie. Like, who couldn't who couldn't love it? Uh, so, yeah, very short one. They'd call this a remix stems pack where, you know, if you wanted to hand this over to Calvin Harris and get him to do a version of it, he could do that or, or you know, the like. Um so yeah, the song, it's got some really cool sounds in it. I'm going to skip the main sound and go over to the drums straight away and just hear these little bits. So let's hear that. Watch this right at the start. <laughs> All right. A big low 808 hit. Beefy. Okay, one more bass hit. And then we're going into this sample. I know it's so fat. Listen. Listen to that. How just junky and massive is that? Yes, and those shakers. Everybody, get your shakers out. That's what it's all about. Run your chimes. Breathe, breathe. It won't be long now, breathe. That's so sick. Let's move on. We can see some changes up here. So let's look at the differences. Anything going on here that's different? Not really, but maybe here. That's it. You all know this bit. Yeah. That's so good. They've just imprinted that into the drum track. Wow, the whole thing's there. Tambourine in the in the left side, and all the hi hats over in the right side, so center right. That's fat and beefy. I really enjoy that. Let's check out this bass um, from the start. We'll hear those those first four samples, five samples. It's an actual bass. That's really cool. Well, this was the late nineteen hundreds, wasn't it? So <laughs> they had to use a real bass. <laughs> But those harmonics just being like plucked. 
cool, 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 cool. All right, now let's move over to the part. Marty. It's quite fat, isn't it? It's quite round. You can still hear that there is definition happening. Yeah. What's that last bit? It's just like a, it punches into another take. Really quite round. And you can hear the bass player keeping rhythm. definition up in 5k it's all air now but it's all tape here or something this would probably have been tape yeah I mean can someone tell me if you worked on this album and you're listening please drop a comment really love to hear from you um, effects vocals and then keys I think we'll, we'll go to keys first maybe instead we won't spoil the vocals so soon because there's only a few more tracks so strings, I'll move those down. Um, okay, we'll go for the keys first. Now this is a very iconic key line, so we won't play too much at the start of it, otherwise we'll get flagged really quickly. That's, that's enough. <laughs> that's It's going to pick so quick. So I'll try to play sections of it, and then we'll go to this middle part here. Oh, yeah. Wow, 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 that's so good. And it happens a couple more times, there's some more. Oh, the, the, the organ in the background starts to open up. You can hear that electric organ. In the, in the right hand speaker. Put your headphones on everyone. So now that I hear this, right, and you can hear the one side being quite obviously an organ, I always used to think, how do they get that sound? How do they get that sound? Maybe it's just some filtered organs. Someone someone help me break this down. It could be just going bum 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 ba dum ba dum ba bum and on a couple of tracks or something, filtering them and then giving them the qualities that they have there with that there's obviously a really low um, resonant note that goes through it. And a little bit of like, like phasing or something, but like with all the top end cut out of it. And then obviously you can hear a bit of the top end come back through on that organ. But still, what, what that's, that sound is like, uh, tell me another song that uses that because I'd love to hear it. <laughs> uh, that's a great, huge sound. Bit of guitar in there. What's a guitar? No, it's a pad. Could be replicated on guitar. Wow. All right, that's so cool. How does it fade? It just fades as usual. That's really, really cool. Breathe keys. Um, the string section. Let's hear that. We'll make that look a little bigger so we can see what's going on here. Strings, thank you very much. Synth strings. Very synth heavy, this album. Okay. Beefing it up a little bit. So this was 97, so what are we thinking, guys? Are we thinking Roland D50, are we thinking DX7, or are we thinking something numbs, analog subtractive? Because that sounds like a sampled, um, or is it EPS, maybe? Maybe an EPS sampler? 
I don't know, maybe an emu, maybe a fair light. Who knows? What do you think? Just let's hear thoughts on what those samples are. Someone's got to know. There's always someone who knows who's, lo who's very lovely and comments down there for us. So um, please continue to do that. Let's just see if we've been blocked yet. No, we're great. <laughs> All right. So pop through some more strings, which are pretty self-explanatory. I don't even know if that's... I don't say that word a lot, so that's probably not how you pronounce it. Um, effects vocals and backing vocals here. So maybe we'll just have a quick look at these effects vocals. Um, maybe, we, maybe we can put the song together first, hey? Maybe I can make a decision before I open my mouth. Uh, no, that'll never happen. <laughs> okay, that's enough to get us in trouble. Uh. <laughs> What have I done? I've muted that completely. Yeah, that's what I've done. Good with drums and bass and keys that strings it up. See, this could be any game on Nintendo 64 at this point. drum track too but it's also alright enough of me singing that let's hear Kylie sing it let's hear the effects vocals on the back of this another iconic sound So tell me how they did that. I want to know. Is it um, a sampler keyboard? What do we do? So cool, though. Like that. I still like that sound. I don't think that sounds dated to me. I still think that has a place, and I think that's really cool. Bit like vocoder stylish kind of thing in there. That is. That is a sound. I mean, of course, it's a sound, but like F me dry on a barbed wire canoe, that is a sound. Listen to that. So there's element of vocoder and sampling happening or something. More of those, please. Two more, thank you. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, well, <laughs> move along to more effects. Okay, so we've heard that one before. That's going to be my new ringtone. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we can see what most of those are. Now, what are these last big chunks at the end? That's cool. Just a few key tonal properties in this, this whole song that make it so exactly what it is and it's that those drums being so junky you know and and just like thick and like nice and loose but also really together and then you've got those effects layered on top of these keys like you put this together listen up you got those sounds there and you've just got something that just screams 1997 at you obviously um Whoa, take me back. Uh, <laughs> uh, hang on, wrong button. Um, okay, get rid of that so we can see what's happening. So Kylie Minogue, breathe. Backing vocals. Um, let's hear them. Breathe. I have died. Just give me a moment. <clears throat> breathe. Fuck that's breathe. Cool. It won't be long now, breathe. Breathe. It won't be long now, breathe. Breathe. <clears throat> I can get through this, I promise. <laughs> it won't be long now, breathe. Breathe. Woof. 
Barry White and Kylie in one night. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> this time, this void, I'm making my way through the mud in minutes. The boon is in my muscle, the ache is in my bones, and it's hard to be alone. It's harmonising with her main track. This time. This void, I'm making my way through the mud in minutes. The pun is in my muscle, the ache is in my bones. I can't remember the and main it's line now. Throw me. Okay, more backups. Breathe, breathe. It won't be long now. Breathe, breathe. It won't be long now. Breathe, breathe. It won't be long now, breathe, breathe. Damn. And just let's check these um, the last ones out. I'm going to find a, a, an image for you that I want to put up on the screen um, of a, a good time I had for a birthday. So I just, I, trust me. Breathe, breathe. It won't be long now, breathe, breathe. It won't be long now, breathe, I, breathe, I, it won't be long now, breathe, I, breathe, I, breathe, I, breathe, I, it won't be long now, breathe, I, breathe, I, it won't be long now, breathe, breathe, that's so sick, okay, I have, I've, I've, I've sourced this picture, I'm going to airdrop it to the computer so that you can see it. Um, and we will go and have a quick look at Kylie's main vocals there. Um, but I, I promise that... Uh, oh, yeah, we, did, we forgot to do the middle point anyway. So <laughs> this is the part where um, if you're in, just stick around for a little while because uh, we're doing the vocals and I'm going to put the song back together and we will see... Um, we will hear it all together. Yes, I'll get it. Don't worry. Uh, wake up, Jeff. Here we are. Okay, I received an image. Oh, what is, what is it? Let's let's have a look. Okay, it's a picture of me looking horrible. Look at that guy. Hang on, go to the mix window. This is a picture of me just looking like mud. Um, at the Kylie, who took this photo? My goodness, horrible. Kylie on stage, free exhibition in two thousand and sixteen seventeen. Um, look at the pants. Look at the gut. Wow, look at that jacket. Oof. What a stud. And so the um, <laughs> Art Centre in Melbourne put on this fantastic exhibition which uh, showcased a lot of Kylie's um, on-stage outfits. And so just it was... I can't believe it was free. I'd have, I'd have paid, I'd have paid you know, 100 bucks to bloody show up. But it, it was fantastic. So I went down to that a couple of times, actually. Um, uh, for my... Jeez, I was... What was I? 27 there. Wow. For my 27th birthday and popped down there and had a great time with some mates and use it as the first opportunity to... Um, have a birthday uh, and and have a bit of respect for myself. As you can see from that picture, I didn't have a lot. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I started to have a birthday again um, and got to go and see some Kylie stuff and had just a really, really, really great time uh, with some good mates. Now let's move over to uh, that bit where I tell you to go and subscribe to the channel and have a look at all the other videos. Appreciate it if you're watching on Facebook over and type in one of the words at the bottom of the screen here, um, and also maybe the name of the song or one of the other songs I've done. Um, the channel's called Luffigan. If you're on here already, hit those buttons as well, please. They don't do anything for me. Um, all these artists get the money if the uh, channel ever gets monetized, but also it doesn't bother me either. Back over and hit Kylie's lead vocals for Breathe, which will probably bring me undone, and, and you might not hear from me for a little while. <clears throat> Don't blame me just because I'm bored. I'm needy. I need to taste it all, don't doubt me Just because I am quiet, I'm thinking Thinking about it all, I'm helpless About the way of me and I'm thinking Thinking about it all, I'm sorting everything inside no, that's the perfect spot that that, that um, sample comes in, that um, effect. Uh, listen to this line with it in there. Everything inside. 
I'm looking in the space this time, this void. I'm making my way through the muddy minutes. The pull is in my muscle, the ache is in my bones. It's hard to be alone. Let's hear this with some. Oh, we'll hear it. We'll hear it dry first. Breathe, breathe. It won't be long now. Breathe, breathe. Back up, time. It won't be long now. Breathe, breathe. It won't be long now. Breathe, breathe. You hear that last half dry? It won't be long now. Breathe, breathe. It won't be long now. Breathe, mm. breathe. That's so good. See through me when I put up a fight. I'd like you to see the things I had go deeper than I will let you know I'm frightened. But I won't let it show I'm helpless about the way I'm being. I'm thinking, thinking about it. Oh, I'm so deep. Oh, what the hell was that and where did that come from? Hell, man, that was sick. That was sick as hell. Oh, okay, I'm going to put them all together. I just nearly launched. Strap in. I'm looking in the space this time, this boy. Ooh. I'm making my way through the muddy minutes. The pull is in my muscle, the ache is in my bones. And it's hard to be alone, to be alone. Give it to me now. Breathe, breathe. It won't be long now, breathe. Enough of that. Breathe. Yep. It won't be long now, breathe. Breathe. It won't be long now. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, we got. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, and there's just one more chorus towards the end. Um, I'm doing it. I know, and, and like you know, I'm I'm putting auto tune on Kylie because I want to hear the notes. She's. I want to see because I I don't know music. <laughs> I just don't, just don't know how to read it. I don't know. Well, I couldn't pick the key out from my ass because I'm not, you know, experienced enough to do it. I didn't learn that. I can because the difference between knowing something and not knowing something is learning it, and learning it is doing it. So let's listen and watch. I want to put it on fast. I don't care. I want to hear what it sounds like. There's newer stuff with Kylie with auto tune on it. So let's hear it. I just wait. We got. We got to go back to here first. Okay. Don't blame me just because I'm bored. I'm needy. Pretty on. I need to taste it all. But there is a lot of effects on this, so I might not be able to pick it and drag it into exact spot. Don't down me just because I am quiet. And, and and why is there effects built into this is because these remix stems they have a certain way that the vocals want to sound across all things. So instead of drying them up and giving you the microphone direct sing signal, they give you the mixed vocals to use in your remixes if you are, you know, whoever. I'm thinking, thinking about it, or oh, I'm helpless. I'm so happy to hear that Autotune does nothing at all to Kylie. For two reasons. It means if they had Autotune back in the day, it was that good. <laughs> but also, people like Kylie can't sing unless she fucking can. And shut your mouth. Um, <laughs> uh, if you don't like it, just don't listen to it. But it's um, it sounds great. It sounds good. There's nothing nothing wrong with that. Uh, turn that off. No plug in. And about the way of me and I'm thinking, thinking about it all this time. This boy, I'm making my way through the muddy minutes. The pull is in my muscle. The ache is in my bones. It's hard to be alone. Yep. Okay. Drum it. It won't be long now, breathe. It won't be long now, breathe. It won't be long now, breathe. Breathe. See through me. This is pretty much.
much the whole song. The elements of this song just build together so perfectly to create this thing that is just so pleasing. Like you to see the things Bring it up. That noise, get ready for it. So cool. Alright, last time. This is so good. Alright, I gotta stop because I'm gonna get sued <laughs> I hope I don't get sued I don't think I will it still falls into the thing that I've been doing for the last 40 episodes this is episode 41 thank you very much for watching Kylie if you're watching thank you because I wouldn't be doing any of this at all if I didn't hear those tracks back in the day when I was a small child and go hey this is for me I like this stuff um, keep it up keep it up because disco fucking hell that was like yeah, that changed my shit. Thank you, because you must have like listened to everything I ever listened to and have gone, hey, I'll make him an album for his birthday and release it on his birthday. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it was everything that I loved. It, had every, like, it was just a retro thing. It had lots of bass in it. Disco is off the chain. Um, so, yeah, damn. I mean, Golden. Eh. <laughs> I'm not going to hang shit on Golden. I had some sick tracks on it, but it wasn't Disco. Disco was BAM! Um, there's Kylie, there's Breathe. I got, I got some more Kylie. Kiss Me Once was great, all right? The one before Golden. I loved that. That had Pharrell on it. Giorgio, Giorgio was on that. Giorgio Moroder was on that. Um, Sia wrote a song for that called Sexercise, which had a, <clears throat> it had a video clip, let's just say that much. Um, yeah, but I mean, Kylie has been doing this for years and she knows how to write, she knows how to collaborate, and she knows how to put out a fucking great show every single time. Costumes, fashion icon, gay icon. She's just a, an Australian friggin' icon um, and a national treasure. Uh, Kylie, great. Just great. That's enough from me. I'm going to go have a glass of water <laughs> and just calm down a little bit. Um, <laughs> enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching again. Um, yeah, go and catch up with your mates, and then don't forget to GFY. Otherwise, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.